Dear friend, I am uh, once again with you with another video. Now today I will tell you about the venous section. Now venous section is an access to the venous line when the peripheral line is not accessible. So this venous section we can do at the two side, one just above the uh, medial malleolus or the ankle where we use the greater saphenous vein or we can do at the elbow where you, we use the, the brachial vein to enter the venous line. So uh, first I, I would like to tell you the various instrument that you use uh, while you are doing a venous section. You should have uh, betadine with you, then 2% xylocaine jelly you should have, then tooth forceps, then your uh, scalpel with BP handle, then suture cutting needle, uh, su suture cutting scissors, and then mosquito, then uh, needle holder. Then you will need an infant feeding tube. Then you need a silk suture material and you need a syringe and food dressing set. First, uh, so um, in the elbow, how to locate the side? You just feel for the middle malleolus. From here, you go two finger above and from here, you go two finger at laterally. So, middle malleolus, two finger above. From here, two finger you go laterally. So this will be a site where you will easily find your vein. So uh, I will just start the procedure. Uh, first I will wear the gloves for this because the strict uh, asepsis should, should be there while you are doing the procedure. Now this is our uh, now this is our working area you see just focus on working area this is our working area uh, here we have to work first you have to sterilize this area with a betadine take some amount of betadine and sterilize the area you have sterilized the area now you have what you do you have put a drip sheet over here now you take a xylocaine you might need one assistance to help you. Take some amount of xylocaine into the syringe. So you took some amount of xylocaine into the syringe. Remove some gas. Then this is the area. This is your working area. Now you have to just uh, go. Uh, like in the, in the horizontal direction, just pierce the skin and inject some amount of xylocaine. The blood will be formed over here and wait for something, let this area be anesthetized. Now once this area is anesthetized, you, you just check it by just piercing the skin, ask the patient whether, whether he is having some pain or not. The patient is not having pain, this means your area is totally anesthetized. Once the area is anesthetized, now you take a <coughs> blade and you give a, a horizontal incision about 2 centimeters. Now take a mosquito and dilate this area. So try to expose the vein. So this is the model. So this is the vein. I could see now. You uh, after uh, piercing the skin, you will have subcutaneous tissue. So just remove the fat like this. Just remove the fat like this. Fat like this. Fat like this. You see the vein. Then then um, lateral to the vein there will be artery. You have to confirm whether it is vein or not. Just put your finger like this and feel for the pulsation. If the pulsation is there, then it is the artery. Otherwise, it is, it is a vein. So vein you have to expose. Now see the here the vein is exposed. Just try to uh, pass your uh, mosquito just below the vein like this. Now this is the segment. This is our working segment where, where we have to work. Okay. Now you you need a uh, 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 silk thread. This is a silk thread what I have taken. Okay, now you take your needle holder and take this thread out. Now from the other end, 
where this no needle is there to put it over here and take out some part of the thread now here you just cut this part let it light distally again you put your mosquito take the end again take it out now this will go at the proximal part so now we have got thread at the distal part and the proximal part and this is the vein you can see it very nicely fine now what of what your uh, distal part you, you just tie the distal part tie the distal so that there won't be any venous return now there won't be any flow no bleeding will be there you just tie the lower part in the upper part you just keep it like this now this is the upper part now you what you do you take a needle you take a needle and pass it at the mid of the circumference of your vein so uh, i have just passed uh, the needle so the needle pass just gone through mid of the circumference again i will take uh, my scalpel blade and i will just give give a nick over this needle the so once the, the nick is given they will puncture into the vein now here you see the vein is punctured see the vein is punctured this is the upper end this is vein that is punctured you see the hole vein is punctured now you take a infant feeding tube and try to put this infant feeding tube into the puncture this is a plastic so bit problem otherwise it very smoothly it enters the vein okay so this is going inside the vein like this you just pass this amount up to the one mark you just pass this vein uh, this infant feeding tube into the vein when it is there when it has got gone in now the upper end you have to tie it over the over the uh, vein and the tube now the upper end i have tied upper end i have tied see okay now uh, we have got a lower hand which is closed now the uh, vein then tube inside we tied the upper end so this is how uh, we have entered uh, your, uh, the vein now this end uh, has to be uh, if the uh, blood will start coming or not then you put the the, the syringe and aspirate once you aspirate you will find some blood then you can close it or you can connect it with your drip set so that immediate patency is maintained now the rest of the uh, this uh, suture you just cut it out now you have to close the skin skin suturing we have you have to do with the silk thread you close the skin like this you can take two or three sutures to close the skin fine now the skin is closed rest of the suture you can cut so this will be your final position then you can put again some beaded in you cover the uh, area and you apply you you apply the bandage into the arm like this and this you can connect to the
uh, IV dipset. So this is how we do the venous section. I hope uh, you will have some uh, knowledge about uh, how to do the venous section and please do try on the patient. If you have understood this, you will be able to do it uh, properly. So once again, I thank all of you for watching my videos. Please do subscribe by my, my uh, videos as it motivates me and I will come again and again with so many ward procedures and tell you how you should uh, attend your ward rounds in my next video and what other procedures you can do in your, in your ward round. Thank you. Thank Thanks a lot. Thank you.